Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So today, we are going to do some Rebel Canning. <laughs> I should say me until Tom gets back and who knows, maybe I'll done, be done by the time he gets back. Um, I have to let everybody know, this is Rebel Canning. It is not USDA approved. Um, I've been doing it for years, but you can do your own research and decide for yourself what's safe for you and your family. But I can tell you that we've been doing this for a long time. My sister's done it for a long time, and it turns out beautiful, wonderful. You can recan a lot of things you get, like that sausage gravy, mushrooms, all those things. Just make sure that you do the proper canning time. Make sure your jars are clean and sterilized. Make sure you process everything the way that you should any other time that you can. So, the first thing that I'm doing today is queso. So... I buy this cheddar cheese sauce at Sam's and normally I put two but this time I'm just gonna put one and see how it turns out if I need another one then I've got one right here you use a can of drained so otherwise it's gonna make your cheese really watery you want drained Rotel and then let's mix that together everybody's always saying you only need one so I'm going to try it with just one. <laughs> I think that looks pretty full, actually. I do not use my own home canned Rotel for this because I don't know if the acidity is correct. And so I do not use my own home canned Rotel for that. You can if you want to. That's your own decision. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just fill these jars, and it says to do an inch. Go below that because this cheese will expand. So I would say almost an inch and a half. That's just learning from experience. That's all that is. Some people heat the cheese before they put it in there. It's not necessary, but you can. another jar here now with this you still need to make sure that you debubble because if you look in there that's what you need to get out of there so normally what I do is just go in and kind of stir it up and push down you can do this in smaller containers that's not a problem let's do another one These are all water bath recipes that I'm using today. So I have my water bather out here and my steam canner. Someone asked me once why don't I um, pressure can the um, cheese and I have not found anywhere that, you know, I can find a bunch of them that has this recipe but I can't find any that are pressure canned so I'm going to stick with water bathing. So I'm going to fill these jars up and then we'll be back to clean them off and put them into the canner. So now I will tell you for those of you that use vinegar don't use vinegar with this because it will help to sour your cheese and you don't want that to happen. You will go through quite a few more paper towels when you're canning cheese because you want to make sure you get it all <laughs> so I actually if you notice I'm curbing it so it'll get the little ribs of the jar as well so I use a clean piece each time that I do it I have five in the canner already so I end up getting seven pints out of there and you know that um, queso is like three something a jar so actually and they pay like I think nine dollars for the cheese unless you can find it at an Amish store cheaper which I have but watch the dates on them I you know 
I don't think much of, you know, close to date things or whatever. But when it comes to dairy and canning it, I'm just not willing to take that chance. Yes, I'm a rebel. I'm not crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to put the rest of this in the canner. And I'm going to bring it up to a constant boil that you can't just, you know, stir away. Then I will start my timer. The um, queso takes 30 minutes. So keep it covered on a rolling boil for 30 minutes. I'll be back with the next one. So the next thing is canning just plain cheese because sometimes you don't want queso. Sometimes you want just regular cheese for soups or whatever you're going to do to it. So we're going to do the same thing. Except for we're not mixing any tomatoes with it. And same thing, just make sure you go below the one inch head space. I don't know why it expands. And I'm not really a scientist to tell you that. <laughs> so, now this one is actually only going to can for 20 minutes. I think that the queso does for 30 because of the tomatoes. So that, that it'll make it safe for consumption. I know there's a fellow YouTuber that says, any of us that rebel want to kill our families. <laughs> that is not true. We like to save money, have convenience. Um, now there are some revelers that will can anything and I will not go that far. Um, if they don't sell it in the store, I'm certainly not going to put it in a jar for my family. I happen to love my family very much. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> I keep getting the dry throat. Sorry, let me get some lemonade here. It's that time of year again. <laughs> But everything that you do, you know what, even if, if the USDA says it's safe, you know, you check it out for yourself. You know, you're your best judge for everything that you do. I mean, we have to give you a disclaimer so that we can't get in trouble. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable doing the cheese or anything else, don't do it. Um, I have a few of my friends that do everything straight by the book, and that's it. And they won't do anything else. So, you know, and that's fine. That's fine. I don't do a whole lot of rubbling, but the cheese and a few other things I do because it saves a lot of money. And honestly, at Christmas time, I give one of these to each one of my kids and Courtney's mom, and uh, I give them each a queso. I do the um, chocolate, the caramel, a whole bunch of other stuff, and I put it into a crate, and that's part of their Christmas present, and they've been eating it for years, and they love it too. <laughs> so I think they'd be upset with me if I didn't put the cheese in there. So we don't want to get them upset. So I'm going to get these finished up. And then I'll come back when I'm cleaning them and putting them into the... I'm going to do the steam canner with these. All right, so I got six pints of the plain cheese. So now this one's in the steam canner. I don't have to worry about it. It will come to a boil, but um, you wait till the steam comes out constant, like a steady stream. Then you start timing it for 20 minutes. So 30 minutes for the queso, 20 minutes for the cheese, and I'll get everything prepped up for number three and four. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to can is mild banana pepperings. I want to tell you guys something. This came with this so it could drain real easy. It was inside the jar. And then so that nobody could tamper with it, that was in it. You had to actually pry it open. And usually these run about $10 for this jug. And... I got it at the Amish store for $5.90, so that was a, 
That was a steal, so I grabbed a hold of it. Because if you guys notice, I use them a lot. I love the banana peppers. Add it to pizzas, whatever you want to add it to, I love it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to stuff these jars full. All the way up to the inch head space. You can scram them, you can, you know, just push them right down in there. Get it as full as you like. Well, within the one inch head space anyway. And what I did is drain the juice into a separate bowl. Because I'm going to can that back in its same juice. And if you want to save the juice to can something else with, you can. I have canned it before. And you can use it for your own peppers. You can use it for whatever you like. Because you should have quite a bit of juice left. Alright, let me finish filling these and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so everything, I can finally turn the timer on for those. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this juice that came with it and we're going to pour it and fill the jar. That way you don't have to make your own syrup, nothing. It's already done for you. That one took a little bit more because I didn't fill it all the way to, to the top. I didn't have enough. Now you're going to do the same thing as you would do regular canning. If you want you to bubble it, if it brings it down below that one inch head space, put more liquid in it. So then we're going to just debubble it. I had a pepper that wanted a free ride. Did you see that? <laughs> then we're going to take our water. If you use vinegar, it's fine for it to do it with this and with the next thing as well. Put your lid on it. Ring. I had to actually go back and get more rings. <laughs> I love these square jars. I just think they're so pretty. Let's get that washed off. A little bit. And you know, these are like nearly $3 a jar too. So I got six. So at $3 a jar, that would be 18 bucks, and I paid six dollars. So that'll show you how much money you can save by recanning. And now, recanning people say you can do tomatoes, I've never done that. Um, you can do tomato sauce, salsa, ketchup, mustard, um, spaghetti sauce. There's all kinds of stuff that you can recan that will save you time and money. Now, the tomato sauce, I've done that. But really, you need to find it at a good sale. So, to be able to can't recan it and make it beneficial. So, I'm going to fill all these jars. And obviously, I can't use my canners yet. But I'm going to refill these and come back with number four. Alright, so the next thing is black olives. Um, I get these from Gordon Food Supply. So, usually I'll do quarter pints. But actually... I want more on my pizzas and whatever when I do it, so I'm going to do half pints. And the same thing, we're just going to fill these jars up to the one inch head space. I know I told Tom, as fast as you empty them, I'm going to fill them back up. But I have lots of jars, thanks to um, 
Well, I bought some new ones, but little dusties. I get quite a few in my jars from there. Oh, I wanted to show you something. Let me grab it. Hold on a second. One of my jars, while I was washing them up today, came with this, and it actually has the glass thing. I don't know how to use it, so we're not going to, but... <laughs> I just thought I'd save it and show it to you guys. I don't know how to use those. I've gotten them with them before, but not with the glass inside. So, and that one's in pretty good shape. It's not rusty at all, nothing. I think it's in great shape. Now this, you guys know, um, yeah, you save quite a bit doing this too, actually. And then what I do with this is the same exact can it right back in the same juice that I got it out of. And I use this all the time, and you guys see me using them all the time, so, yeah. It's just such a money saver, and I don't have a black olive tree, so <laughs> it's not like I can take care of it myself. And then you want to debubble it, just like everything else. My steam canner is done. I still got a few more minutes on my water bather. And then I can start putting this stuff in there too. And these, the um, peppers and the black olives go for 20 minutes. I'll write the times down in the description so that you can see what they are if you choose to do this on your own. There are a few things that, you know, like I say, with Rebel Canning, I do it to save money. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if I thought it was going to put my family's health at risk. Not ever. I'm a very family oriented person, so I would never do anything that I felt would hurt, harm my family. Regardless of what other people say. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough jars to do all these. I had him bring me up a dozen. Um... And I was hoping to have four left to do his uh, fruit and yogurt, his parfaits. He might have to go down and get more. <laughs> but that's okay. All righty. Okie dokie. So... I'm going to finish filling these, and then we'll get to filling the canners when they cool down. Alright, so this is what I had left of the cheese. And I ran out of jars. I had 12 of them up here. And that's what I have left of the black olives. So, with what I'm making tonight, hopefully, I can incorporate that somehow so those get used up as well. So, I will be back when everything is finished canning. I've got the black olives in there now. The water is way too hot in my water bather, so I'll probably just wait and use my steam canner for my peppers as well. So I think we're going to have a very productive day. And I keep hearing pop, pop, pop. So that's the beautiful sound that we love to hear. So I'll be back when everything's done. All right, so there we go. My day of reveling. We've got the queso, the regular cheese, the black olives, and the peppers. Look at all that food. Oh, there's one just popped. Again, I'll put the times below. And again, this is not USDA approved. Do your research. I've been doing these for years, but that's completely up to you. So you guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing, and we'll see you at supper.